Hey everyone, it's Whitney here. Um, I wanted to come to you because I've been hearing something crazy and I just, I, we need to talk about it y'all. This is just something that we really need to talk about and, and I'm going to talk about it with y'all. Um, I've had some people tell me that they think they're going to skip the exfoliator. In general, in life. Not just Kalias, just in life. So I'm coming to you post-gym to one, show y'all what my skin looks like after sweating and rinsing my face and no makeup on and maybe some sleep. Y'all, keep in mind, I struggled with hormonal acne. We have some scarring left that has diminished so much. So it's where my scar is. So you can tell that I used to get it in that really hormonal spot. It's all that's left right now, y'all. That's it. Um, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about why you shouldn't skip exfoliators. Okay? So I need y'all to stick with me. Not even five minutes, okay? And I need you to watch this, and I need you to just give me an amen, right? Just, just give me that kind of like, I gotcha, hallelujah, okay? So... The thing about exfoliators is they're going to buff away and pull those dead skin cells and stuff so they're not clogging your pores, so they're not settling in fine lines, so they're not, so your skin can have a chance to breathe and skin cells can reproduce, all that good stuff. If you're not getting rid of those dead skin cells, those, that, that, growth is not going to happen. So the best comparison I can make is a fig tree. I used this the other day. I had two. One was a basil plant and the other was a fig tree. But we're going to go with the fig tree. So the thing about fig trees is they only make fruit on fresh growth. To have fresh growth, you have to clip away some dead. You have to prune the tree, right? I need you, if you're going to want fresh growth on your face, to buff away those skin cells, okay? Doesn't mean that you have to use it every day. In fact, for most people, I wouldn't even recommend that you use it every day. I'm using it every day because I'm working on getting rid of the scarring and fading those scarring. Things that are going to help fade that, licorice root, turmeric, all that stuff. One of the unique things about Kalia's exfoliator, besides the fact that it smells like heaven in a jar is that it has things like kale and clay, it has hibiscus, has rose, um, the turmeric, which we talked about, neem, which is great for sensitive skin and leaving you with like a soft, subtle type, supple, not subtle, supple, um, moisturized skin, um, and all that good stuff. It, it has things like licorice root, which is great 